Hello and welcome to The Wild Escape. Join us on this epic journey to create one great big artwork full of creature creations brought to life by thousands of children from all over the UK. Just head along to your local museum or gallery and find one of the many animals waiting for you there. It could be a creature crouching in a painting or perching in a photograph. It could be a slithering sculpture or a magnificent model. Whatever you find, whether it's slimy, spiky, fluffy, cute or scary, make sure you have a good long look because it's your turn to create a piece of art that brings the creature to life. Ready? Let's get started. First, you need to find your animal. Look around you. What can you see? There's sure to be an animal lurking somewhere. It could be in a painting on a wall or a model in a cabinet. It could be in the room you're in now or somewhere else waiting to be discovered. Why not take a walk along a corridor and into rooms and spaces that look interesting? Look up, look down, look all around. Where might that animal be hiding? It could be massive and easy to see. It could be tucked away in a corner. Keep looking until you find the animal that most excites you. We all know about lions and tigers, but what about the amazing creatures that live on these shores? A lot of the UK's wildlife goes unnoticed. From nocturnal bats, to nervous voles, to colourful dragonflies. See if you can find a creature that lives near you. Once you've found what you're looking for, it's time to get drawing. But before you put pen or pencil or paintbrush to paper, stop and take some time to look closely at your animal. Stand back to take in the whole picture or object in front of you. Then move up close and explore the details. What do you see? What colours are being used? What shapes can you find? What do you imagine the animal is doing? And where is it? Remember, the idea is that you imagine the animal coming to life and taking a wild journey to a new world. If it's a fish, it might go to an amazing new ocean with other creatures of the deep. If it's a fox, it could go to a magical forest with talking trees. Have a think about what you want to draw and where your animal will go. You could also take a photo or make a quick sketch, then work on your picture at home. Use colour and texture, paint, felt tips, glitter, collage whatever most inspires you. Most of all, have fun and let your imagination run wild. When you've finished, you can send your pictures to creatures at thewildescape.org.uk by sending us your creature. You're contributing to a huge collective artwork that is all about showing how much you care for the nature around us. You'll then be able to meet your creature in the wild world on Earth Day. <laughs>